this last weekend. I've kind of been working in the dark. I put a lot of time on, time in and working my tail off to have an opportunity. And I was blessed to get one. The offense believed in me, and I just wanted to make uh, take advantage of it. Um, and it was it was cool to do it in an environment like that, um, in a game with so much implication. And, and um, it was just a blessing. And I'm, I'm I'm grateful that my teammates and the coaches trusted in me to go out there and make plays. When were you told that you were getting the start? Uh, earlier in the week uh, on Monday, Coach Cutter talked to me, and uh, he just said the role's going to increase this week, and uh, I was able to um, go out there and do my thing. How, go ahead. How competitive is this wide receiver room? It seems like kind of anybody has an opportunity to break in there and make an impact. Yeah, it's definitely a competitive room, but um, it's not like a me versus you type of thing. It's everyone's rooting for each other, and we're all happy when guys uh, take advantage of the opportunities and uh, make the plays. So um, it's, it's really special that this team, and especially the receiving core, um, is rooting for each other. Um, that's been different in the past. And um, that's what makes this team really special. It's never, it's not about a single guy. Um, we're all um, out there together and we um, have one goal, one team. What were you seeing on that third down conversion? I mean, he kind of just split right through the defenders, you know, when you got there and, you know, come, somehow made the, the line to gain. Yeah, it was a, kind of an underneath concept for me. Um, and I knew it was a third and 13. Maddox uh, just kind of put it in there and I, I knew how to get more yards to get the first down. So when I caught the ball, I felt the guys kind of on my back and I just I kind of was, not going to be denied. I had to get the first down for the team. That was my job on that play, and uh, just was thankful Maddox trusted me to go out there and make the play. What did that do for your confidence moving forward? Yeah, it was definitely a big play for my confidence. But uh, confidence is is half is. I mean, oh. the confidence you get from tireless hours of practice and since January and really my whole life. So I've definitely had a lot of confidence in myself uh, to make plays. Uh, but that yeah, that's it's good to make it happen. Spencer and Dirk have both been telling us, um, you know, the last two games, they're looking for more consistency out of the passing game from, from your guys' and the wide receivers. How, how close do you think you're good and how much are you growing? Yeah, we can all, there's always room for improvement. I think the big thing they've been harping on is separation. And uh, we've just been taking that to heart and really working hard in practice. And then uh, translating it into the game is, is another thing. But we're, we're, uh, we're taking that challenge on head on. And uh, we're definitely striving towards that every day. It's consistently making separation, making plays in the, in the pass game. With the uh, you know conference play start, I know every the most important game is the next one. But yeah. what, what's the excitement level as Mountain West play kicks off? Yeah, it's definitely exciting. It's it's our goal. We've talked about it since January 9th, whenever we got back, uh, is to win the Mountain West Conference Championship, and for that to start this week is it's important. Like you said, because it's the next game, but it's also got to uh, go up a notch because it's Mountain West play is, is starting. These uh, home games have been nuts. The last one for a little while coming up this Saturday. How exciting has it been to be on the blue? And how much do you look forward to one more time out there this weekend? Yeah, like environments like this last Saturday versus Washington State is the reason I came to Boise State. I mean, like playing in front of a crowd like that is unbelievable. Uh, that's rocking and uh, just so much at stake is what it felt like. Every play was very important. Um, and that's, that's the reason you come uh, to Boise State is to play in big time games like that. And it was, it was awesome. Like you said, I took a second running out of the tunnel, just embracing the moment because it was special. You know, you're always going to get the opponent's best, uh, you know, but with being the co co defending conference champion, how much does that kind of ratchet that up? Yeah, we know we're going to get everyone's best. Uh, that's just the reality of it, especially playing on the blue. It's a historic field and um, there's a lot of history between us and Utah State. So uh, we're prepared. We don't take any opponent lightly. We respect all. So it's, it's going to be a good matchup. And they took Utah late into the game, so we know we're gonna we have a good matchup coming up this this weekend. Chase, I know you guys you always prepare like you're gonna start, but just from like a anxiousness level, like what's it like preparing knowing you're gonna start? Yeah, it's definitely um, it's a, it's really the same, but like uh, the the importance of every play, like especially this last game, really uh, picked up a, a notch. Um, you have a, a responsibility to the team to do your job every single time, um, and knowing that. Um, Early in the week, is, it gives you a little bit more anxiousness, but when it comes to game time, you know you put the work in, so it's just go out there and cut it loose. That's kind of what the, the staff really harps is. Um, go out there and play, play relaxed, play confident, because we put the work in since January. We're getting, go ahead. And let's say, you know, going into a game knowing you got like a set amount of plays versus knowing you're gonna actually probably get, the, get a chance to get into the rhythm, get into the flow of the yeah. game. What was that like for you? And, your patience has been tested so like what, what was that like for you yeah it's definitely get into the rhythm of the game it's definitely it's a real thing so being able to go out there and you really feel the game and the speed of it is is, is a good feeling because you can kind of um, test out what works what doesn't work but um, I always prepare like I'm like the, the this play is the last play I'm ever going to get so you uh, I just really focus on taking advantage of every moment
you talk about that anxiousness early in the week, you know, now having one start under your belt, have you noticed it kind of go down the anxiousness this week? Yeah, I wasn't, I wouldn't say it's even anxiousness. I would just say like, uh, okay, it's my time. I have to go in there and do my job. So um, I, I wouldn't say anxiousness, it's just a, an urgency to do your job every single, every single snap and um, every day in practice. How much do you embrace kind of this, this added role? Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. Um, I'm, I'm blessed that the teammate, my team has, um, you know, trust me with it, but we still have a lot of receivers and um, it's a group. So it's not just about me, it's about the team and the receiver room. So, but I'm very blessed for the opportunity and uh, I'm gonna work my, my tail off to continue to make plays for this team. How do you feel about this Maddox, like week to week? Like these, these five games into this, or almost five games into it, like, you know, being a starting quarterback full time for the first time in his career. What, what's he like week to week and getting back to practice and building up towards the next game? Yeah, I mean, we, uh, we have all the faith in the world in four. He's a great leader. Um, he talks in front of the team, and uh, he really had. We're all behind him, and he's a great player. So he goes out there and makes plays. We're behind him, and um, obviously there's there's stuff that the receiver room can do better for him, and uh, vice versa. So we're we're behind four, and he's a he's a great player. And um, week to week, he makes plays. So we trust him, and we know he's going to do his thing on the field what, on Saturdays. What does he do to earn your guys' respect or make you guys want to play hard for him? Or whatever? yeah, I mean like he's a gritty guy. So like he in practice he'll. He'll uh, throw blocks or like stuff like that when you know you're not supposed to really touch the quarterback. And then he he just makes plays like in in practice and since January, there's um, he he puts the ball where it needs to be, and we know he can do that. So we never we never lose faith. He's our guy. Any jokes about him trying to track down Ashton on that one? <laughs> yeah, January? yeah. They they made jokes about him hitting 21 miles an hour, but uh, no, he's he's our guy. <laughs> okay, awesome. Thank you.